Greetings gamers, I'm Lewis Crane. Today I'll be reviewing Sid Mears... Is it Mears? Myers? Hmm. I actually don't know how to pronounce that name, even though I've been playing his games for... two decades now. But yeah, today I'll be reviewing Sid Mears... I'm gonna say Mears for now. Starships, a turn-based strategy game uh, developed by Firaxis and published by 2K. And you know it's published by 2K because there's a little My 2K um, account icon in the lower left. Oh, by the way, you may notice I have my, uh, what's this called, a toolbar? My desktop bar, whatever, down here. Um, I don't know why this game won't capture in game mode, so I'm using display mode. Um, I mean, just as well. Uh, so you can tell from the font, uh, even the aesthetic, even though these are spaceships and not naval ships, uh, that yes, this is directly a tie-in to uh, civilization beyond Earth. Um, I guess you can arguably say that this is a soft sequel to Beyond Earth since the beginning of this kind of presumes that you had um, one of the victories at the end of Beyond Earth where you leave the planet again. Um, but since you're looking for more plants to colonize, you could also kind of argue that this takes place like concurrently to Beyond Earth. Um, Anyway, this game is uh, $15 on the Steam store, and uh, it has a Metacritic score of only 64. That's, uh, I think this is one of the lower scoring games I've bothered reviewing. Um, I'm gonna say right up, it's kind of a meh game, but there's a very important reason to get this game and play it, uh, and to also sign up for a My2K account. Um, Beyond Earth and Starships, they actually tie into uh they unlock bonuses for each other so if you have a 2k account and you sign in when you're playing starships you sign when you're playing beyond earth you unlock some uh new starting options um playing beyond earth unlocking the starting options for starships not that important i mean uh, i guess the major one is that you can play as a hybrid affinity which makes the game significantly easier because you get instead of just one of the starting bonuses you get two of the starting bonuses in fact you can even import data from beyond Earth when you're starting star starships. But, uh, the real thing you want is to um, complete certain missions and or beat the game in starships to unlock uh, some of the best starting options in beyond Earth. It's, it's kind of a... I don't know if you can say it's the dirtiest um, marketing tactic, but... So, for example, um, you know when you start a game of Beyond Earth, you have options for your uh, colonists, spacecraft, uh, cargo, and map type. Um, so, colonist options... Um, so, there's two each of the colonists, spacecraft, and cargo options, and three new map types. For the colonist options, uh, by completing one of the missions in this... Um, you unlock the pioneer colonist type in Beyond Earth. If you choose to be a pioneer type, uh, instead of getting like an economic bonus per turn or per city, you get double the construction speed, um, so half the construction time for colonists um, and explorers, uh, which is huge. That's that's almost game breaking. It's um, I kind of forget whether or not. Um, they enable that for multiplayer mode, but if they did, it would be kind of competitively game-breaking for one person to have the ability to build colonists and explorers in half the amount of time. So uh, there, there are similar cool slash game-breaking perks you unlock by playing... I'm not even playing... I'm just talking about Beyond Earth, which is... I mean, it's not a perfect game, but it's better than Starships. Uh, so... I actually think that this game was originally a, a tablet um, game, and then they just ported it to PC.
Ooh, I don't want to have a speed loss. Okay, so... Why does this have fewer hit points? Oh, because... Okay. So you can kind of see that it has those uh, orange colors from Supremacy being my primary trait, just like when you do Supremacy upgrades in Beyond Earth. So you okay. never have more than one army at a time. You can increase the size of the army, but you can't have two armies going around the map at once. Uh, so it's very like streamlined gameplay. You can tell the graphics are pretty bare too. Um, I mean, it's they kind of stretched it out for the PC version, but you can tell that this could have been a tablet game very easily from its minimalist layout. I mean, which isn't terrible in, in its own right. Yes, Commander. So you go, go around the map, going to neutral planets, um, undertaking missions to get them to first like you, and then uh, if you manage to unlock all four influence bars. One mission usually unlocks two influence bars, and then you can either... I think you can leave and come back and do another mission, um, or you can just spend credits to purchase the last two influence, and then it's yours. Uh, so it's a hex layout. Not totally unlike Civilization V or Civilization Beyond Earth. They even recycle sound effects from Beyond Earth, and I think some of the music too. I don't know why they said I only have a 56% chance of clearing this mission. It's pretty easy. Nice shot. Good work. Trade route established with Pictoris. Alright, let's see. What can I... Installed. All right, let's build those improvements. Uh, let's see. For science, uh, completed nano electronics level one. So yeah, it's it's super streamlined. It, you can tell this was supposed to be a mobile game. I guess if it was strictly a mobile game, I think maybe it would have gotten a higher Metacritic score than 64, and I'd be probably more impressed. Um, but for a PC game you purchased on Steam for 15 bucks, it's a little underwhelming. I mean, it's not terrible, it's, it's playable. It's not like pulling one's teeth, but even by my extremely lenient standards, and you know I'm pretty easy going when it comes to giving games my approval. There's not that much to do. This this game is only slightly more involved than like the really silly games I play like Crush Crush or Aqua Kitty, uh Milk Mine Defender. Uh where's the okay. Sure, let's go entering for the most direct routes. I don't know. Will this spot crush me to death? Uh, I don't want to take that chance. Wow, I've already taken a third of my hit points and damage. 
Uh, I have to wait for that passage to open up. Fighters online. Uh, do I feel like going there? And no, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna wait here. Entering narrow passage. Entering narrow passage. Enemy reinforcements detected. Lasers are critical. Oh, this isn't good. I may actually... Oh man, I'm like one hit from being destroyed. Entering narrow passage. Nice shot. Did they say I only have only six turns? Alright, I guess I should go ahead and use this. Battle card activated. Oh, but not another attack. Okay, well that's kind of useless then. Huh. Do I... Do I dare move forward when I'm one hit away from dying? But... If I don't, I'll run out of time. Oh, alright, whatever. I don't want to get destroyed. Repairs completed. Entering narrow passage. Okay, if I if I don't move forward, I'll just fail. Hopefully they go for the fighter squadron first. Enemy reinforcements detected. Oh we'll get them next time. I'm pretty sure they're even recycling the voice clips from Civ Beyond Earth. Ooh. Receiving all resources from other factions. Find each other already. Oh, okay. You also get one influence per turn for having your fleet there at the end of the turn. What do I sell for credits? Because I don't want to be there for another turn after this. Completed. Xeno materials level one.
biofuel plant operational. Two thousand credits. Oh, I thought it was fifteen hundred. All right, there we go. All right, now it's friendly mine. Ooh. All right, I'll have to do that in a future turn. So that's right. You also can't build the local plants wonder until you have max influence. Yes, Commander. Oh, it's not six turns, it's six hexes. Wait, are you kidding me? Did, did they really just randomly generate the exit to be right there? Good work. Wow, RNG, come on. Seven. <laughs> RNG is ridiculous. I, I just, I overprepared this time and it put the exit, the goal, within a starting turn's distance of, within one turn's distance of my start location. That's ridiculous. What? Only Oh, okay. On your first visit, oh, that's what that bonus is for. The that sieve of the always get a starting influence. Oh, because oh, okay, that makes sense. Normally, for if you're the first one there and you clear on your first time, you get two out of the four influence points. I only got one because I went back. So yeah, you only get one army, which means uh, as in terms of. Oh, oh no, this is, it's all one click and no like, are you sure confirmation? Cause it's meant to be easier for the purposes of, um, being played on a mobile device. But yeah, in order to keep your plants safe, you build the planetary defense upgrade, which isn't that great. They're, these megabots are a little stronger than like really basic ships, but once you have even a moderately upgraded ship, um, these are not that significant. So they're only good towards the beginning of the game, which really means only your home plants can be safe because these are so expensive to build that it's almost, almost not worth it for your outpost planets. So you just want to maintain like a kind of safe border or boundary or front. You don't want to have like a really shaped empire or an empire surrounding too many sides because you're not going to get around to defending them all. All right, I'm I'm not going to take that. That's got a couple of mega boss defending it, so I'll go here instead. There's an enemy fleet here. I forget if I have to fight the enemy fleet first. Embassy established on Bornasis. Oh, they Seven retreated. One. Auto plant complete. All right, so it looks like an empire is fighting. Trade route established with Bornasis seventy one. Mm 
completed ion drive level one. All right, let's see if I'm ready for a fight. Trade route established with Orionis 87. Or they're not interested in fighting. Well, I'm going to get my butt kicked, but sure, why not? It's almost time for me to end this video anyway. Approaching Leonis 30. Five. Yes, Commander. So two ships, three megabot, uh, bots. All right, let's see if I can win this with smart play. Online. Fighters launched. Fighters online. Taking a long shot there. Entering narrow passage. Enemy engines disabled. Unfortunately, these asteroids in the way, otherwise, I would fire torpedoes. Just take time to reach your target.
repairs completed. have been damaged. My shields have been damaged. Okay, this is within range. Enemy torpedoes disabled. So it's it's better if you can kind of predict where they're going to be and try and detonate that in the middle of a bunch of them. Enemy shields disabled. I'm probably gonna lose this. The Megabots are a little stronger than I remember, but then again, like I said, they're good deterrents against early game ships, but even a moderate ship is going to be more powerful than them. Not that it matters, there are no stuffed units in this fight, but it would detect stuffed units if there were any. My engines have been damaged. Oh, they're going the wrong way. That might actually have been a game changer. Actually, it's turning out to be a lot closer than I expected. I actually think I could have won this if my torpedoes had worked out a little better in my favor. Disabled. 
Oh, wait, did I actually... Wow. Wow, I can't believe it. That's, uh... Okay, well, that's... That's a pretty fortuitous... End to the video. Oh, am I out of... Oh, well, I, I can't repair right now. I'm also, like, super vulnerable to anyone else who... Oh, okay, he's pretty far away. I should be okay for now. Alright, so, um, this has been Sid Meier's Starships. Um... You know, overall, even though I just had a pretty good battle there, I think you can tell from watching this video, or I have to say, Les Crane, meh, the gameplay is, I mean, that that's as deep as the game gets, um, predicting where the enemy will be when it's time to detonate your torpedo. Um, there's really nothing else fancy about this game. Uh, the main reason to get this game to play it is to unlock those really cool bonuses for Civilization Beyond Earth. Other than that, not not too much reason to play this game. Uh, and as, as much as I like Beyond Earth and I do approve of that game, even though some people don't, um, and even though the bonuses are really nice, Starship should still stand on its own. And it doesn't quite really. Um, it probably did when it was like a tablet game. Uh, but yeah, let's crane meh. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. I'm Lois Crane, signing off.